Hi, and welcome to the second section of this course, Clustering. The section will demonstrate the following topics. Getting an idea of how clustering works and comparing it to alternative existing classification techniques. Using Scikit, Learn, and Matplotlib to enrich the possibilities of dataset choices and to get a professional looking graphical representation of the data. Implementing the k-means clustering algorithm. Implementing the nearest neighbor method and comparing the results with that of the k-means. Now we will see the first video of section 2, Learning from Data, Unsupervised Learning. In this video, we will be reviewing two cases of unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning basically consists of finding patterns on a previous data set. Normally, little or no information is given for this technique, and the procedure should be able to automatically determine how the information is organized and recognize the different structures in the data organization. One of the simplest operations that can be initially to unlabeled data set is to try to understand the possible groups of the data set members' common features. To do so, the data set could be split into an arbitrary number of segments, where each can be represented as a central mass point that represents the points belonging to a determined group or cluster. In order to define the criteria that assigns the same group to different group members, we need to define a concept that represents the distance between data elements so we can simply say that all class members are closer to their own centroids than to any other centroid. In this graphic, we can see the results of a typical clustering algorithm and the representation of the cluster centers. K-means K-means is a very popular clustering algorithm and it can easily be implemented. It is very straightforward and applying it as a first procedure to datasets with good class separation can provide a good priori understanding of the data. Nice! We've successfully learned from data.